guys, it's me, Growling Panda here, and welcome back to my Wizard 101 Balance walkthrough. Now, I, I pretty much forgot what happened last time. I really did forgot what happened last time. So, uh, <laughs> it's been a month, okay? It, it's, it's been a month since this, um, since uh, this uh, thing has, you know, been happening. I came back with like a few Wizard 101 balance walkthrough videos and then Polaris came along and and I had to continue the story and now the story ended, I took a break, a little week break, and now I'm back to this and I literally just forgot what happened. <laughs> Let me see if the dialogue will help me or anything. I think last time we uh, went into that tower. And defeated, uh. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Hail again, fair wizard. I owe you my freedom. You are searching for the Sword of Kings that the Lady of the Lake once bestowed upon King Arturius. <laughs> Sir Paddy gave me King Arturius's mighty blade to get it. And before my foolish duel, I was smart enough to hand it off for safety. The Holocaust Knight, Wait. Sir Justin Silverharp, took it away from Avalon into the very forest of Weirwood. Must have been crazy. Map of the Weirwood is in my estate in the town of Caerleon. Uh, but the way is blocked by the Hundred Year Bridge. The Holocaust Knight guards that bridge. He will not face you unless you are at least a squire. Ask Friar Nolan about a squireship. See, now, see, now, squireship. Uh, that will be uh, that will be given if you help Friar. So, so pretty much, yeah. Hello, friend. The shrine to courage in the face of axe, sword, and poisoned arrow was sullied by Fomori giants. Defeat the Fomori. To retrieve the sacred shield and sword and restore the shrine. Then I can squire you for your act of courage. Okay, so yeah, you gotta defeat these for more giants. And yet the game, once you've com uh, once you've completed, the more you play, the more you know what's probably going to happen. So And you can have up to, I think, seven wizards at a time. Yeah, I think that's what you can do. Um. I didn't know I had this. Had that marker right there. Um. Okay, first things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> Okay, so these guys, I think they should be pretty easy. Cause, cause, does anybody remember that episode where my balance wizard defeated like three enemies? So like, yeah, I have raw in there. Yeah, I can't, I can't do a balance battle without my spell, <laughs> my gr uh, my favorite spell. And the quest should be easier to collect now in this world. Maybe. I really hope so. I don't need that. Okay. I need this. someone who already is a squire <laughs> and he's just walking by Oh 
Oh no, I just clicked on the wrong spell. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. My mouse is going all crazy for some reason. Crap, I did not mean to do that. But I kind of did. Okay, I just hope this critic goes and then just kills them both. And oh my gosh, I'm starting to hallucinate. Oh, oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh. I actually felt like I was hallucinating. What the heck? I just felt like I was hallucinating. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know what just happened. I felt something going on in my head and now I just started hallucinating. Oh my gosh. Well, that hurt. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, you had to experience that. Oh, my gosh. It's probably because I, like, just woke up, like, an hour ago. <laughs> Crap, that was really so close. <sighs> Strange things are happening to me. I'm sorry. I thought this ride was gonna be short, I guess not. Start my myth walkthrough. That way, I can totally get revenge on all the myth enemies for earthquaking me so much and getting rid of my blades and all my shields and all of that crap. <laughs> Yeah, I really can't wait for that. <laughs> also, some of you guys are wondering uh, where my Undertale videos are. Um, I deleted the game files, okay? Uh, that... <laughs> That game is literally hard to uh, hard to beat, especially the Asgore fight, cause cause there's uh, cause there's three ways you can either beat the game. There's a pacifist uh, there's a pacifist way, which you which you can't kill everything. You have to be nice. You need to find a way so you, so you can spare them, you know. And uh, and you just have to you know not fight all of them so you have to find some way to spare all of the enemies that you uh, that you try that you are in a fight with so yeah and there is a genocide route in which you have to fight everything and then you can get xp you gain levels and then you get a totally different ending and i really don't want to end up doing that because 
Because what the ending, like, you know, gets a little bit weird and, you know, not promotedly suited up for this channel. And you guys might think it's, like, a little bit too much. So, I'm probably not going to do the genocide route. Because cause the ending might get a little bit too crazy. Um... Because, uh... Because, like, I watched the full genocide route on, uh... Russ, uh, Russ Plays channel, and, and, uh, and I watched the full Jacksepticeye, uh, playthrough of his Undertale stuff, and, uh, and that was pretty cool, and there is a neutral mode, in which, you, uh, you can kill the, uh, You can either ki you can kill all of the bosses, but not the enemies. So, uh, so like, so like, even though you've not uh, defeated like all the enemies, but you still defeated some of uh, some of the bosses, you still have to defeat Flowey. But you don't get a happy ending once that neutral uh, once that neutral ending is there. So <laughs> Or there is a non happy ending where 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 there is a pacifist mode or the neutral ending and uh, you can just quit the game from there. So that's what I'm trying to say. So, pretty much the reason why I quit the Undertale story series is because that Asgore fight, he's really, he's really tough. And he has like a ton of moves and stuff that I really can't handle. And for some reason my thumb is starting to crack up. Ow. Come on, critical, please. Mm. Oh, there's someone coming, I think. Who could that be? Oh. <laughs> Wait, who? Who the heck? Oh my gosh, people are coming to help! And it's three boys. No, wait, there's a girl. I can't believe they all came. I can't believe they came to help. <laughs> I'm actually happy about that. Uh, I think there's still time for, you know, a boss battle. Oh, never mind. They got it. They got it.
Okay. Uh, now, uh... Da, da, da. I'm sorry, this uh, this is my favorite song out of the whole entire game. Like, I can play this on the piano and stuff. You have restored the shrine well, the some of the songs from this game. Sword and poisoned arrow. Of course, you just might want to avoid that poisoned arrow. <laughs> I love that line. Of course you might want to avoid that poisoned arrow, because it sure is poisoned. <laughs> you are truly a disciple of courage. I hereby dub thee squire and charge you to serve with valor and courage to protect the weak and defenseless, to live by honor and for glory. Grab a damn level up. Yay, I leveled up the squire. Don squire, now return to Sir Brennan and let him know what you've accomplished today. As soon as I get my badge, okay? Okay. There it is. Squire. There's also that Presser of Frownlings badge, which you can defeat 50 of them. 50 Frownlings, and then. I don't know what happens if you defeat like a hundred of them. <laughs> Hello, Squire. The Harlequin Knight is a chaotic knight who has closed the hundred year bridge to Caer Lyon. You'll have to duel him <laughs> and win. Once you get past that rogue, search out my loyal steward Kay at my estate near the town round. He'll get you the map you need. Okay. Now, Curly On uh, has my favorite, uh, has one of my characters in it. And does anybody re remember that character? Yeah, Shilo. She was a. Uh, okay, she was a Whiptail Pantera. <laughs> you pup, you are hardly a squire. Still, by the laws of the land, you can challenge me if you want a drubbing. If you wish to cross the Hundred Year Bridge, you must face me and win. Meet me in the bridge tower and prepare to duel. Hey, I literally don't have anybody to help me. Um, oh, there's... Hopefully they can come to help. I'm sorry, I gotta resist. <laughs> Crap, Alex is in the arena. Oh, it's those guys from earlier. Wait a minute. That death wizard is on the same quest as I am. Yeah, but let's do this. Oh my gosh, that Timberland Yeti. It looks cool. Wait, is that is that really a Yeti or is that like a Halloween thing? I literally gotta see that. It's a wildwood one. Oh my gosh. That looks awesome.
Oh, awesome. Oh, um, later today, guys, you might get a special surprise video today. Uh, not Panda Craft. I was gonna have that plan for today, but, um, I kind of thought of, you know, a surprise video. Just a little test video to see if the game would actually, um, you know, work properly if I were to record it. Uh, so, like, So, um, if, if, if the game runs good while I'm recording it, I will put it up, but if I don't, then just expect to see Toontown rewritten, okay? Oh crap, it's Jerome. He wants his Skittles back. Oh my gosh, the chances of how much damage that spell would deal. Oh my gosh, that thing looks awesome. Whoa. I've never seen that sp It's an undead Jerome! What the heck? What is that? That spell, that looks awesome! 
It's it's a Halloween Yeti. Oh my gosh, that spell looks really cool. <gasps> yes, I critical. You're a buddy. And boom, there he goes. Uh, enough. You may cross the hundred year bridge at your leisure. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay. Now that you are safely inside the city, it is time to seek out Sir Brennan's steward, Kay. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to high-five that like button. I'll see all of you party animals in the next video.